Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Outer Flies. It's 45 minute mission to explore strange nude worlds, to seek out nude life and nude civilizations, to boldly go where no man has bond before. indicate that we're being pursued by a, a pancake-shaped thing with a, with a who's and what's the on top. Seeing no life forms and using a neon condensing system for a power supply. Its digital cybernetic guidance system is similar to those whatchamacallits used in the late 48th century. Fortunately, its weaponry system is no match for the sophisticated technology of our deflector shields.
What happened? Well, Captain, it seems as though I'm not quite sure how to put this. We stalled, sir. from a small ship nearby. It's, that, it's heavily damaged and out of control. Pilot requests that we beam him aboard, sir. Pilot? I don't want that Roman aboard my ship. It is a different pilot, sir. Oh, very well, Lieutenant. Send out an army escort, just in case our visitor is hostile. Quirk out. Not so fast, big fella. You'll have to deal with me first. 
I was actually trying to hit him in the... What do you need, Lord Nader? I'm being held prisoner on a starship called Outerprise. Send a rescue party immediately. Yes, sir. We'll dispatch them right away. This is going to be fun. Fighters, lots of them. Oh my God! Lieutenant, down the river. Attention, all crew members. This is the captain speaking. Battle stations, everyone. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Two. How many of those things are out there? I can only estimate, Captain, but I would say roughly 72,342, give or take one or two, of course. Captain, 
nothing. All my communication systems have been destroyed. My desert is a smash! <laughs> I'm getting a distress signal from the fifth planet in the solar system. A woman's voice, sir. Put it on visual. Yes, sir. Help me, then. Why you're my only hope? 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 So therefore, I am obliged to conclude that he is dead, and it is up to us to save his fair lady. I must agree with you, Sue. Help me, Ben, why you're my only hope. 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 I'll have it concluded in a moment, sir. The planet, known as Disney 5, has a Class G rating. Its atmosphere consists primarily of an oxygen-nitrogen mixture with an abnormally high humidity level, which has therefore produced an abnormally high foliage level, resulting in what are known as jungles across 64.75% of the surface area of the planet. It is well suited for human life, and I see no reason to delay the immediate attempt beam down a rescue party. Mr. Spook, Dr. Anoy, Mr. Chekhov, Mr. Spotter, meet me in the transport room in five minutes. Captain, I would very much like to go with you and the other fellows. Uh, yeah, okay. chance happen to be a knowledgeable and experienced guide of jungle terrain? As a matter of fact, I am. Good, you're hired. Thanks. Beg your pardon, miss, but we don't even know your name. I am called Island.
whoever you are, thank you for saving our lives. Yeah, your appearance is the most opportune time. Who is this Joker? Now, now, Captain. I mean you no harm. As a matter of fact, I have just saved your life. Perhaps you can help me. I am looking for the young princess, Leaflet. Have you seen her tied to a tree? Or maybe buried up through her neck? She was in a cage, perhaps. No, we haven't seen anyone around here like that yet. You must be that old hermit she was talking about. Yes, I am Benoit. We best be on our way if we want to find the princess. Right. Okay, man. Let's end women. End women. Let's go and find the princess. <laughs> Teddy bear. Stay back. They're killers. Sort of nine the thought of Wasa. Oh, I'm taking this one home to my sister Alpha Centauri.
Ready, aim, fire! Nice shooting, folks. Come on, let's get out of here. Well, there they go. I hope that they saved the rebel base. At least they were able to evade the teddy bears long enough to get into their ship. I want to thank you, Benoit, for saving my life. Oh, well, it wasn't that tough. Hey, I've got a bottle of stellar champagne in the cooler back there. What do you say we celebrate your rescue? Great! Where is it? Uh, it's near the hydrogen oxide decomposers. Tricorder indicates that this creature is no more than a figment of our imagination. If we firmly believe it cannot harm us, it will disappear. So all we have to do is believe that this creature is an illusion and it will go away? Correct. Sounds easy enough. Thanks for the tip, Spook. Maybe you're not such a bad guy after all. Illusion can't harm me. I have nothing to fear. Illusion can't harm me, I have nothing to fear. that it is a temple to the Greek god Apollo. Who's that? Zeus. I want her. Come, my dearest. You cannot resist me. Together, we shall live for all eternity. Of my dead body? Precisely. Why? 
fascinating. Oh, this is hopeless. We'll never get out of this alive. I, I hate to admit it, but it looks like we're cooked. Turn your phaser off, Mr. Spot. Don't anyone give a hope. Spook! These vines, can you do anything with them? Yes, Captain, I believe I can. Judging from the amount of vine used to bind us and its thickness, I can, given the present circumstances, fabricate a small communications device and a primitive antimatter bomb capable of destroying this entire planet. That's incredible, Mr. How long will it take? I'm not sure. Done. Spook, you're incredible. Yes. There's still one small problem, though, Captain. What's that? Do you happen to have a battery? Oh, no. Captain, look. Over in that tree stump. I shall attempt. The vulture mind melt. Our minds are one. You will do as I say. Bring me the battery. Going, Spook. I believe it will function now, Captain. Quirk out of prize. Quirk out of prize. Coming out of prize. What, Captain? Lieutenant, the unit's up immediately. Quirk out. Quirk out. Spook, set the timer for 10 seconds. Yes, sir. Not so fast, my friend. You must stay for dinner. Which will begin right about now. Jim, I can't take it any longer. They're coming to kill us any minute now. Damn it, Spotty. Get a hold of yourself. Okay. We are going to have a lovely supper tonight, Captain. We are going to eat you. You will never escape. <laughs> <laughs> Help us, Enterprise! Help us! Oh, come on! Help us! Oh, come on! What's the other? What's taking them so long? of this ship, and where I say we go, we go. But, sir... I want no one questioning my decisions, especially new crew members. Yes, sir. directly into the heart of a black hole, and we are now caught in its gravitational field. Computer display of the situation, Mr. Spook. 
Captain's Log Stardate 427.53 Due to the errors of our new crew member, the Enterprise has been sucked into a black hole. I'm the only living crew member. All sensors have been destroyed, but from the port windows, I can see the surface of a planet similar to a giant 20th century Earth. Wait, wait a minute, what's that? I'm being approached by some sort of gigantic alien... Oh, fuck! Hey! Hey, put me down! This is Captain James T. Quirk of the USS Enterprise. I come in peace. Please return my crew and ship. I'm coming now. I'm coming, Ma. I demand the immediate release of my ship, or I will be forced to take offensive action. Ugh. Oh no, dog. No, stay away. Stay away. No, please. Just stay away. Blue. 
How true were the friends who were near me to cheer me, believe me, they knew. But you, you were the kind who would hurt me, desert me when I needed you. Yes, you, you are driving me crazy. What did I do? Did I do to you? 